In this animation, I will explain the Gemini viral life cycle in brief. Gemini viruses enter the plant cell cytoplasm through the insect vector. Once it enters the cytoplasm of the cell, it has to get unwound before it enters the nucleus of the cell. Here you can see the uncoating of the virus where the single stranded genome is released from the virus particle. Then this genome enters the nucleus of the cell and then the oligo for the complementary strand is synthesized by the host cellular enzymes. Once the complementary oligo is synthesized, it is followed by the complementary strand synthesis completely by the host cellular enzymes. Once the double stranded DNA is formed, it is then subjected to the bidirectional transcription by the host enzymes. These transcripts are then exported to the cytoplasm for the protein synthesis. The proteins synthesized in cytoplasm are then imported into the nucleus and participate in the viral life cycle. Here you can see the red color proteins that is REF bound to the viral origin of replication. This protein mix the viral origin of replication and initiate the rolling circle replication. Once the DNA is replicated completely by rolling circle mode of replication, the REF protein once again mix and ligate to release the newly formed single stranded viral DNA. This newly formed viral DNA participates in the same cycle of events till the viral DNA reaches certain threshold. Once the DNA reaches the threshold level, this DNA gets packaged by the movement protein and the code proteins of this virus and then get transported through the plasmodesmata to the other cell or through the insect vector and infect the other plants.